Here's the finished product of what you'll be able to apply to your web pages after watching this tutorial. It's a Twitter feed widget thing 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 blah 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 that you can throw on your web page blah blah blah. And I show you how to do it dynamically in case you have a community or social network. Okay, let's see it in action. We have a couple of members who probably don't have one yet, so you can see on my profile it's showing my Twitter feeds from my Flash Building account. Now if I go to WormRacer08, he hasn't put his Twitter name in yet, so he has none. We made it to where it doesn't show up at all if they have none. But if you go to the home page, you'll see I asked a couple of guys to throw in their Twitter accounts. And Lewis Anderson threw his in. See? There's Lewis's uh, unique feed. And then we have another member who put his in. Or he said he did. And there they are. Pooh blocks. Cool, man. Now, this is for beginners who don't know about Twitter goodies, and they might want to apply it to their various web pages. And this especially applies to people who are following the Web Intersect series, or maybe somebody who's building a custom community or social network. I'm going to show you how to make the widgets dynamic. And I believe the tweet button is already dynamic. So what the tweet button is is something you can slap on any web page that you have control over. It'll put a tweet button on it. Anybody who pushes that tweet button it'll just tweet it straight to their profile so everybody that's following them on Twitter will see your website you'll get traffic and all that stuff that's why the tweet button is very effective the widgets is something that will allow you to put all the latest tweets from any any account really and the button is where you can have a little icon with the T on it signifying Twitter so people can just click that and start following any account that you set up that button for which that can be dynamic as well. But for this one, I'm going to show you about the widgets. Now, if you go to widgets, my website, this is where you can apply it directly to your website taking the raw code. And what we're going to use is the profile widget. And username will go right here. And my username on Twitter is Flash Building. And actually, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's cool because I don't really screw around on Twitter. And you can see all I do is I tweet each one of my tutorials as I make them. I don't really go on there and be like, oh, yeah. maybe once in a while I'll do something goofy, but usually all my tweets, it's all down to business. Each tutorial I put out, I tweet it. But anyhow, there's the code for Flash Building Adam Corey on Twitter, and here are my latest tweets. So this is what it's going to look like on my web page. So I'm going to finish and grab code, and here's all the code for it. I'm going to highlight all that press control C and now I'm gonna apply that to my web page and you'll see down here where it says flash building this is what I'm going to make dynamic I'm just gonna request the members at web intersect put in their let's see if I go to web intersect let's see right here under account options you'll see we're grabbing links and API connections and all we have to do is add one for Twitter, you see we already have the Facebook ID, YouTube channel we're requesting, and the website. And under Facebook ID, we'll put Twitter username. They'll add that, and then on their profile, that little cool Twitter feed box will show up wherever you want it. So I'm going to add it to my profile.php page, and it will render dynamically only if that person happens to have given me their uh, Twitter username. Okay, so the first step in adding that widget dynamically to your community or social network is we go into the edit profile page, edit profile.php at web intersect, and we're going to put in a new table row. And you can see I already added it right there, right below the Facebook table row for that form. So we're going to gather their Twitter username in this input field right here you can see it has the proper ID and name so where the others are parsing so we're going to parse this one as well and we'll also have to add one field to our database inside of PHP my admin or you can write a little script that will apply a new field into your database table so right here where it says Facebook I'm going to put the Twitter make sure we initialize that variable and where are we right here location info picture upload links here it is right here and we're stripping everything but 
letters, uppercase, lowercase, and numbers. If you want to let them add a space, you can put that right there. But for now, we're just going to take uppercase, lowercase letters, and numbers for their Twitter username. Now here, we're going to update my members, website, YouTube, Facebook, and we're going to add a new one here after Facebook for the Twitter, the new field insertion or update. A new field update right there. Twitter variable goes into the Twitter field that we're going to add to the MySQL database right now. Okay, now this is very simple to do. We go to the structure of our My Members table within PHP My Admin. Look for table My Members. Right under where it says YouTube and Facebook there, we want to add a new field. So let's just go down here. After Facebook, go. It's going to add one field after Facebook. That field we're going to call Twitter. This is going to be, I guess, varchar. Let's just make it 255 because that's the max anyway. Press save. And now under Facebook, we have a field called Twitter that's waiting for when our users fill in that form field we just put into the edit profile page. It will go into this Twitter field slot and that will hold their Twitter account username. And then finally in your profile page, all you have to do, your profile.php script that shows all your different members, all you have to do is dynamically render it out like we're doing the rest. So I put it into a mechanism to display Twitter tweet widget or not here. Just like we have mechanism to display Facebook profile link or not, or the YouTube link or not, we do the same thing for the Twitter widget. So it only renders if they happen to have that information there with us. If not, nothing renders. If they do have it, we render the nice little widget.